Hey everybody, Chad Sarno of Good Catch here. Today we're gonna to be making a blackened salmon taco. These are so delicious. We're featuring the Good Catch plant-based salmon burgers. We're gonna be serving them with the tomatillo avocado salsa, some pickled radishes. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. And of course, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. All right, so there are a couple components to this dish. So we have some pickled radishes, which I'm gonna start for a quick pickle over here. Okay, so we're gonna get these, this going in this little pot. Some perfect pickles in a little pot we're gonna be making here. So we have a white vinegar, all right? So I do equal parts, so a little bit more vinegar. Okay, so almost equal parts water and vinegar, white vinegar. And I'm also gonna do some sugar. Do some sugar until that dissolves. And I'm gonna put also some salt. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that up to a simmer, all right? And I'm just gonna be stirring it a little bit. And that sugar is going to dissolve. All right, so then I'm going to add whatever you wanna pickle. You can do onions in there, you can do jalapeno in there. For, for today's recipe, we're just gonna be doing radishes, maybe a little bit of jalapeno. While that's going, we're gonna cook up the tomatillos. So tomatillos are such a great versatile ingredient, but I love charring them. There's so much more flavor that come out of them when they're charred. So I like to char them, so I'm just gonna, you know, peel these, get these ready. We're gonna heat that up, medium to high heat. So I'm gonna basically pulse these up with a little bit of avocado, a little bit of lime, a little bit of jalapeno. This is gonna be a perfect addition to these blackened salmon tacos. So we're gonna finish it with a little bit of plant-based sour cream for that cooling component because we want the spice to be in the salmon and also a little bit in the sauce. So you're really balancing out all the flavors here. So I'm adding, you know, acidic sort of creamy component here. Then you get the spice from the pickles and also the acidity, the sweetness of the salmon. It's gonna work so well with all these. So that looks about right. Just gonna toss those in the pan. Let's hit it with a touch of oil, not a lot. Okay, I'm also going to add one jalapeno. Let's just get that in there. So this is coming up to a simmer. I'm gonna let it come to a simmer for a good two or three minutes. And then that's going to really dissolve that sugar, okay? So I have some garlic here. I like to slice this garlic in thin slices here for these pickles. Just gonna add a couple cloves. This is just a great way to do this quick pickle here, which I'll show you in just a moment here. I'm gonna add the garlic, because I want that to poach. And then on the other side, I have some radishes. So I'm just kind of move those around. They're gonna char a little bit. Beautiful little truffle shaver. This is such a handy little tool. You can use a mandolin, but this works really well. So I'm just gonna slice these. Make sure you watch your fingers. Pickled radishes adds a beautiful crunch and that acidity, sharpness to these radishes. So we're gonna just add those to the bowl. Just gonna move those babies around. Get some color on here. Same thing with the jalapeno. Gonna move that around. So if I'm making any kind of like a green enchilada sauce, I'll also make sure that I roast these. You can dry roast them, which works perfectly well. All right, so I'm just gonna add these. Add these to a little bowl, set that aside. So, we have those beautiful little charred up tomatillos and jalapeno. I'm gonna let that cool for a minute and I'm gonna cut the jalapeno a bit as well. So you have that pickling liquid and all you do is basically just add it right to the bowl. Make sure you scrape out all the garlic. Now you can add whole spices to this cumin seeds, mustard seed, which would be really nice. Peppercorns is also nice in a pickling spice. And that's it, okay? I'm gonna let those sit. The best way to keep these is to serve them. You can serve them immediately because they have a nice crunch. Or I made these yesterday, okay? And so these have just been sitting and they just have a beautiful color to them. You can see the color, same exact radishes. But you can see here, once they just sit overnight, they absorb all that color from all that skin from the radish and they're just beautiful addition. So we're gonna set that aside, let those pickle for a little bit and I'll use the ones that I pickled yesterday for the final dish here. All right, 
So cooking the salmon burger. I like to use a cast iron, just like with uh, most of the Good Catch products. Home use, cast iron is the best in my opinion for that even consistent heat. So I'm gonna bring that up to a medium to high heat. While that's heating up, let's make this Cajun spice here. So I have some smoked paprika, okay? I have some smoked paprika. I have some dried oregano. I have some dried thyme. I have some black pepper. Some cayenne for a little bite there. I have some garlic granules. And I have some onion granules, okay? That is a standard Cajun spice that I like to work with. There's lots of different spice combinations out there. You know, it's just like curry powders. There's lots of different curries. You know, this is my take on nice Cajun seasoning here. All right, it's gonna go perfect with these salmon burgers. All right, so you got the pan heating up. I'll place the burgers in there. These will cook for four to six minutes on one side. We'll flip them, do the same on the other side. Uh, but right when we flip them, we're gonna flip these about halfway because I want to really cover it in the spice blend, okay? Three to four minutes, we'll flip it, okay? When you get a little bit of color, and that way the oil on the other side is gonna help it stick, okay? So I'm gonna press down the spice blend and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? I'll flip that halfway and we'll just kind of flip them a few times to get that char and that blackened flavor coming out of these spices as well. So let's look at this. So I like spice, okay? So love my spice, but I'm gonna cut out some of this. Nice thing about handling it afterwards, you can cut out some of the seeds if you wish. Okay, I like some of it, so I'm gonna keep a little bit in there. But I have those tomatillos. I'm just gonna chop those up, maybe, maybe just quarter them. Add that back. You don't wanna lose any of those flavorful juices that come out of those tomatillos once they're cooked. So I have some lime juice. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lime in there. Let me grab a little bit of agave as well. A little bit of sweetness. Let's see if I have some right here. All right, so this is ready. All right, let's check on those burgers. Yeah, that's perfect. Not fully cooked on that side, but enough coating to pile on the spice. So I'm just gonna put two teaspoons or so covering the whole top of that burger. So good. Okay. That is it. Just gonna basically press that down, make sure we get a little color, a little oil coating the other side. Then we're gonna flip it and do the same with the other side with coating it and that blackened spice. All right, so we're gonna let that go for about two more minutes. All right, let's check that out. Those have been going for a few minutes. Let's flip those over. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. If it needs a little bit more oil, you can add, touch it with a little bit. Mmm, smells so good. Again, I'm just gonna season it just a touch. You can put also a little salt in that spice blend, which I didn't for this one. Now you're gonna get some smoke here because of that spice. I'm gonna shut it off, I'm gonna flip that over. Look at that, oh, it looks so good. Oh, the flavor is insane. So to help this cook, basically take a splash of water here. Okay. Okay, it's off the heat, but that's helping the burger cook all the way through. All right, let's move that over. These are ready to go. So good. Oh, that aromatics from all those dried spices, they smell so good. So I'm just gonna set these on here. These are good to go. This is gonna be a perfect filling for these tacos. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's go ahead and make the salsa, okay? So we have the tomatillo, we have the jalapeno. Get all those bits. I have some cilantro. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch of sweet, just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna add some avocado. First, let's pulse this up. A little bit of salt. Remember, there's a little bit of lime in there that I put in there earlier. So I'm just gonna pulse it up. I don't want this completely smooth, right? I just want it pulsed up. I want a coarse consistency. I'm gonna put in some avocado for that creaminess as well. So, a lot of challenges that people have taking out the seed. You can tap the seed with a knife. 
or if you hold it, you can also just pop up the seat on the back. That's a, I've been cutting it out with a knife and teach people to cut out with a knife for years. And then I realized one day, hey, you don't have to do that. All right, let's just pulse this up real quick. Perfect, beautiful, that's the consistency I want. Check that out, looks so beautiful. Nice, chunky, coarse texture right there. Okay, you get those little charred bits, you get the acidity from the tomatillo, the spice from the jalapeno, a little bit of sweetness balancing it out. It's gonna be a great salsa. Let me, let me, boy. <laughs> that would've sucked, that would've sucked. All right, let's heat up this pan just quickly. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil, not much. I have some tortillas here. A little bit of shaved cabbage. Let's finish this baby off. Just using a little bit of cabbage. Enough for a couple tacos here. I like using just a raw cabbage, not dressing it, because I like that crunch. I like that freshness on the taco. Okay, just using a mixture of cabbages, just for color, really. So, we have this heating up a little bit. A little bit of oil in there. Let's throw in some corn tortillas. And do one at a time. Okay, and they, they become very pliable. So let's go ahead and grab our plate. Okay, next, get this little taco holder here. A little bit of lime. And do a nice little garnish. All right, shut the heat off. These are ready to go. Look at that, it looks so good. So we got those pickled radishes. We have our tomatillo salsa. We have that beautiful salmon burger. Oh, look at that flakiness, you guys. Look at that flakiness. I'm just gonna tear this open so you can check it out. That flakiness of the salmon, it is so beautiful. Super delicate, super high in fat and just beautiful, rich, plant-based salmon here. So I'm just gonna load these up. So two of these taco, two of these burgers will certainly end up making four good size hefty tacos. I'm gonna hit that with a couple components here, all right? So we're gonna do a little bit of that sauce on top. Okay, I'm gonna finish it on the side with a little bit of that as well. Nice little addition some shaved cabbage. Also those pickled uh, radishes. It's gonna be such a nice addition to these. All right, let's finish that up. Let's grab a little bit of garnish. Have some green onion. Get some vegan sour cream. Just give it a final dollop. Oh, these look so good. All right, and there you have it, you guys. Blackened plant-based salmon tacos. Good Catch Salmon, my favorite new product. You gotta check out this taco. It's on a corn shell with some tomatillo, avocado salsa, some pickled radishes, vegan sour cream, some shaved cabbages. I am gonna dig into this. I cannot wait. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.